Uh, at the moment, it's the, the sort of heaviest period for us in terms of our training in pre-season. Uh, we're looking at, at the moment, three heavy lifts in the gym a week and five conditioning sessions, which vary from speed endurance all the way through to power endurance and uh, wrestling. So it's a real broad spectrum. We tend to be big fans of the basic exercises. Throughout history, you've, that's what's given you the biggest gains. So we focus a lot on squats, deadlifts, bench presses, push presses. It's so really a hybrid of powerlifting type exercises and Olympic weightlifting to get strength. We have a few favourites. Bend over row is a good one for us because of the position you get into. It's similar to a lot of positions players will get on the pitch. More and more the game is going to be as close to the floor as you can to make yards and that's a, a good exercise for us. We're quite particular about the way we set it up. You see a lot of people in these days try and do it like a stiff leg deadlift and then row it from that position. That's quite hard to hold. So what we do is we set it up on the floor, get a really good back position, and then really all you have to do is straighten your legs a little bit and you're in the perfect position to hold it tight and get good quality back work out of it. Another favourite of ours is a pull from the thigh. A lot of sports use this now, largely because the biomechanics are very similar to what you do in your sport. It's all about that explosive triple extension of your leg, which is great for anything like sprinting, jumping, tackling, any of these sort of activities. So we use that a lot in our program. I think one of the toughest sessions we do is, is combat conditioning. It's basically a circuit involving things like renegades, which are 12 and a half kilo dumbbells, two press ups into single arm row on each arm, stand up and shoulder press on each arm. And you're going through a minute in each exercise, so really getting the heart going and getting the muscles screaming. What you put into your body dictates what you can get out of your body. So typically we'll take a four stage plan into each training session. The first occurs before the training session and that's a fueling meal. So that might be a breakfast, it might be a lunch, it might be a snack, but it provides the energy reserves that the players need to actually get through that training session. The second stage is during the session itself. Now that might just be as simple as some fluids, so some water, some additional carbohydrates, some electrolytes, or even some protein in there, depending on what the players need for that particular session. The third stage is then immediately after that training session so that's something that the players are going to have as they walk out of the gym as they walk off of the pitch now again it's going to be carbohydrate and protein it's going to reflect what the players use during that session the fourth stage is an adaptation meal so that's going to occur within an hour of the training session finishing and it's either going to be a large meal or it's going to be a snack depending on the time of day and what training is going to occur later on that day typical day we get up I'll have three egg omelet with ham and mushroom something like that uh, complemented with a bowl of porridge and fruit we need the protein because the muscles break down and to build them up stronger and bigger we need to provide a substrate and that protein comes through the protein within our diet.